Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Harmonium, a Japanese film from 2016. So the plot of this film goes something like this. Toshio runs a small metalworking factory in the suburbs. He has a wife and a 10-year-old daughter. They enjoy peaceful days, but the father's acquaintance, Kusataro, appears after serving some time in prison. So... Toshio hires Kusataro for his business and even lets him stay at his house for a time. The wife at first is understandably apprehensive about having an ex-con in her home, but she warms up to him after seeing him teach their daughter to play the harmonium, which is a musical instrument that is also known as a pump organ. It's almost kind of like a piano, but a little different. It's very difficult to talk about this movie without spoiling it, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. No spoilers, just give you a feel of what's going on here. Now I found Harmonium to be difficult to predict. It contributes some unexpected moments and it did not play out like I thought it would. One reason for this is the fantastic performance by Tadanobu Asano who plays the mysterious Kusataro. And, you know, Asano is one of the more popular Japanese actors out there. You've probably seen him a bunch of times. And he has a very tempered, almost creepiness to him in this movie. But at the same time, he simultaneously plays a man who is very approachable and able to kindly interact with others. <clears throat> Consequently, you have no idea where this film is going to go. You know, is it going to go the drama route? Is it going to go the thriller route? Uh, the romance route, or something else, you know. Uh, what did this ex-con do to land himself in prison in the first place? Will he fall back into a criminal lifestyle, or will he find a certain redemption through his relationship with his family unit? Or perhaps someone from his past will reappear and cause problems. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Half of what I just said was complete BS, but I want to make sure you keep, keep you on your toes. Because finding out what path the scriptwriters chose is part of what makes this movie interesting. And that's just the first set of questions. You know, after you get a feel for where the story's kind of going, it int introduces an additional set of possible pathways to take. Uh, I was definitely impressed with the flow of this movie and how it explores its premise naturally. Characters are not defined early on in the film in a simplistic manner. On the contrary, it takes almost the entire runtime before you get a true feel for who these characters are, and uh, as well as their plights and dilemmas. Uh, so there's some, there's some nuance here and some complexity. There's also some exploration on multiple themes, uh, including but not limited to some family dysfunction. So this is a very proficiently directed uh, film by a man named Koji Fukada. I've seen a few of his prior films, all of which I enjoyed to kind of a greater or lesser degree. But Harmonium is arguably his best film to date from what I've seen. He's able to instill a dramatic intensity to this that's tempered and lacking in any melodrama or over-the-top stuff, you know what I mean? And that makes it feel very real and impactful, uh, probably more so than you might expect. There are also some very effective shots, camera shots, that are supplemented with a sudden drop in sound, which creates a very uncomfortable form of silence at times, which I really liked. It's impressive stuff. In terms of pacing, it's deliberate and rather slow, but the free-flowing story like practically necessitates that because you have to kind of set up each of the plot turns and developments to make them work. That's all I'm saying. In conclusion, Harmonium is a high-quality film. It's probably one of the better Japanese films of the past few years, I had no idea it was as highly acclaimed as, as it was, so you know that in and of itself should probably draw you towards this film. Certainly worth watching for those who want to keep up with contemporary Japanese cinema or are fans of Asano. It's currently available on Region 2 DVD with English subtitles. I think it might be a UK release. So check this one out. It's pretty solid. And as always, we will see you next time.